Thanks for joining me for Bible journaling. Today, we're going to be working on day 74 in our Encourage a Moment to Breathe devotional. I'm going to be coloring my image there with some ink tense pencils for a base coat, and then I'm going to go over those with some Prismacolor pencils. And I put a list of all the colors I used at the front of the video if you want to pause and go back and copy those all down or watch it later. You'll be able to find all of those at the very start of the video. My image there is from Moe's Digital Pencil. It's called Looking for Clues. And I put down in the description box will be everything that I used on my Bible journaling today in case you would like to find it later and use it yourself. So that's where you can find it is down in the description box. You can also go over to the store blog and there's a link to that in the description box and you'll be able to um, see the page up close when it's finished and then there'll be little linky things at the bottom of the page, the post, that will take you to all the stuff I used in case you'd like to see a picture of what everything looks like. That's where you can find that is over on the store blog. So our verse today is in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 and it says, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. That's our verse today. So my thought is, I'm going to have the boy there. He's searching for his purpose. And he's going to find a way. So I'm going to put some little crosses there for him to search for. And then at the top of the page, I'm going to end up drawing a bigger cross um, that will take up most of the top half of the page up there. And the little verse I'm going to use is a piece of clip art that I found online. And I put a link to that also down in the description box in case you'd like to use the description. The little clip art too. So I'm going to go ahead and read um, today's story. So today's for story says, my friend is a painter and we happened into a conversation about her process. As she taught me her steps, I reached for a pen and paper to record her every word. She showed me a picture of her canvas and spoke of the underpainting. First, she painted the basic images in terms of lights and darks. To me, it looked like a sketch and a sepia filter. She went on to say the painting would emerge out of these initial details. She said, it's easy to get lost in this phase and give up. giving up comes easily. As she spoke, I knew God was stirring in my heart to pay close attention to her words. You see, in the middle of my hardest seasons, I've looked at the canvas of my life and felt like maybe God has gotten lost or perhaps skipped over me, that he indeed had good plans for many, but somehow I wasn't included. I want to see a finished work, but I get discouraged when it appears my canvas is just lights and darks, seemingly colorless. Sometimes I feel that way. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like I've gotten lost and maybe God's forgotten about me, but he hasn't. Um, it's all in his time, so we have to remember that um, we just have to be patient and he has a plan for us probably not the plan maybe that we thought or maybe we did think that but it's all in his own time and maybe right now isn't the time that he thinks is appropriate for what he has planned on with the story <laughs> for a vivid picture to emerge lights and darks have to be painted lights and darks add tone value to the painting a painting has to have both my dark or hard seasons are the first I want to dismiss or hide but God desires to use my experience to point to his work as the creator. He uses the darks and lights to create a vivid image of himself in and through the lives of those who call him Lord. With strokes of a wide and gracious father, he has given me eyes to see his work through the experiences of my life. God is painting on the canvas of my life and yours. Let's choose to trust the artist because the picture is still in process. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel. My picture is still in process. I'm definitely working through a bunch of stuff and it always seems like it's just one more little thing, but I know eventually it's going to become something that he has planned for me and he's just working it out. So our moment to breathe this week says, think of the lighter and darker, darker moments you've experienced. Imagine them painting a picture of your life. Somehow God will bring them all together to form something beautiful in you. See, doesn't that sound good? It's going to form something beautiful in you and me. That makes me feel very hopeful when I read that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some music on and I'm going to let you watch me do my page up and I'll see you at the end.
now that I've got my cross all colored up there, I'm going to go ahead and take some clear gesso and I'm going to go over the entire page with that just because I've decided to do some watercoloring around the cross up there and I don't want it to pucker my page too much. I don't like it when it gets too crinkly, so I'm just going to go ahead and prep it so I don't have to worry about any of that. And I don't have to worry about going over my colored pencils or my inktons pencils with the gesso. I wiped right over it. It didn't smear or anything. And then I just dry it and give it another coat so that it'll be nice and um, flat. Then I'm going to use my Illustrated Faith um, watercolor palette to add some yellow around my cross up there so it really stands out. I want it to really stand out and you, you really see it. And then the boy down there is kind of floating in air, so I'm going to grab my Jane Davenport Neutrals palette, and I'm going to add a little bit of brown, a couple of browns down there to um, give him something to stand on. And then I'm going to use a gold pen to outline those crosses that are on the ground so that they're nice and sparkly too, and you can really see them. All right, so let's go ahead and put our title up there at the top. Um, I did print this out on some clear sticker paper, so be careful if you use this clear sticker paper when you're putting it down, because once you put it down, you are not going to get that up, so you want to make sure that it's nice and flat and not crinkled when you start laying it down. I'm going to go ahead and finish my page off with my journaling, which is going to say, Lord, thank you for this season of my life. Thank you for loving me as I am. Then, of course, I'm going to put my date down there, so I'll remember what day I did this page when I look back through it later on. So I hope you had fun doing Bible journaling with me today. Don't forget that I put everything I use down in the description box and over on the store blog if you would like to check that out. Otherwise, I hope you are having a fabulous day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.